what is up people how is it going back again with another video and in this video we are going to learn how to use pymata 4 to read analog or digital pin of arduino okay so this will be a series video and uh, in this series video we are going to learn how to use pymata 4 with arduino and uh, some other electronic devices okay so guys let's get started okay so first of all you have to install the pymata 4 module so for that just simply open up your terminal and just simply type pip install pymata 4 and then simply hit the enter button i already installed it so it should be satisfied okay we can see requirements are already satisfied okay now i'm going to import pymata 4 okay pymata 4 from pymata 4 and then i'm going to set a variable called board and this board or the arduino is going to be auto detected using pymata 4 okay the pymata 4 is going to auto detect the arduino board so i accessed the pymata 4 class okay now i'm going to set the analog pin and digital pin so i'm calling this board variable and then I'm calling a method and this method is set pin mode analog input okay so I'm going to set a pin to analog mode okay let me create two variable one is called analog pin let's set it as zero that means it is a zero and let me set another variable called digital pin and it will be let's say eight whatever you want i'm using 8 okay now boot.set pin mode analog input and here i need to pass the pin number here you can see the documentation here you can see yeah, here i need to pass the pin number okay if you want to add any kind of callback or any other just simply you can pass it now i'm passing only this analog pin variable that means the a0 pin okay so i'm passing this analog pin okay and then i'm going to set the digital pin mode okay so for that board dot set pin so guys digital input and here i want to pass the digital pin variable okay now i will create a loop while loop while true here i want to read the analog value and the digital value okay so analog value and digital value will come in a tuple okay the first one will be the real value and the second one will be the timestamp so i want to separate the value and the timestamp okay so for that so for that i want to create two variable one is value and one is time stamp okay so both dot analog read and i want to read the analog pin okay and let me print the value let me print the value and then i want to add a delay so for adding a delay i must import the time module okay of python from time or just simply you can import time okay import time okay and here i want to call the sleep method and i want to pass one second okay then uh, i just added a delay of one second now if i run this file uh, or if i run this python file nothing will work because i must map my arduino board to pymata compatible so you all know that pymata 4 is dependent on pharmata express okay so open up your arduino ide and from here go for manage libraries 
it will take a bit of time and here we can see it is downloading libraries index okay Okay, now tap on the search bar and here simply type Pharmata Express and then hit the enter button. Okay, here we can see uh, Pharmata Express. I already installed it. In your case, just simply click the install button. Okay, then go for file and then examples and here you can find format express then click this and simply click the upload button okay then the format express codes will be uploaded to your uh, arduino board okay i already uploaded it so i don't want to re-upload again now uh, come back to your ide and then simply click the run button okay let me check here we can see our arduino is detected on com port 3 okay here we go here we are getting the analog value so one thing to mention i am using a gas sensor okay so i am getting this value of uh, my environment okay so this is the analog value and if you want to uh, read the digital value or if you want to read the digital pin let me exit it then just simply boot dot digital read okay that will and here you need to pass the digital pin and rerun this file if I rerun this file okay here we are getting this digital value okay so I am exiting from it now let me open my camera okay okay here we can see here uh, i am using a smoke sensor or a gas sensor using a arduino you know. and if i click this run button here we can see our arduino is blinking and here we are getting the digital pin read okay or the digital values i hope you got the idea how to use analog p analog value and digital value from a arduino okay so guys that's for today's video if you face any kind of problem just let me know in the comment section and the diagram is in the description below check it check the description you will find the diagram how to design your circuit for analog or digital value okay so guys that's for today's video keep watching goodbye